and we are back guys welcome back to another episode of the dark psychology hacks and today we're going to get right into the episode about why the people you like don't actually like you back now have you ever noticed that the people that you actually find yourself attracted to and the ones that you want kind of you know push back a little bit or you know, give you a little bit more issues than most. And then the opposite is kind of also true. The people that you don't really take notice to are kind of obsessed about you, wanting you and desiring and making scenarios in their head to be with you. Well, for myself personally, I've fallen pretty much on both sides of this perspective, uh, of this perspective. And it took me a while to actually figure it out. But before I really get into it, guys, please like this video. And if you've been liking any of uh, if you guys have been liking the value that I've been bringing you guys hit up my uh, subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you're updated on everything we're bringing out. And let's get right back into it. So if you think back to a time where you find yourself attracted to somebody and how is it that you treated them? Have you ever thought about that? The issue is. When we find ourselves attracted to people, we do this one clear mistake that a lot of people don't even think about, but that is we treat them special. And I know you're like, well, of course you're attracted to them. Why wouldn't you treat them special? Well, have you ever thought about the opposite? Why is it that the people that you aren't treating special so obsessed with you? And if you think about it like that, something that you're doing there is obviously you're doing it right. So if you think about it in that standpoint, you fundamentally understand where we're making the mistake when it comes to dating. You got to think about it like this. If you're pursuing somebody and the things that you are doing aren't working, but the people that you aren't pursuing and the things are working, well, what is it that you're doing for those people that are is working? So you need to start taking note. And on top of that, if you're really out here trying to get that person that you want, the man of your dreams, the woman that you desire, then you need to take note of what works and what doesn't and not try to do what doesn't work and hope for a better result. And that's where I think a lot of guys and girls have been lost today because we have this preconceived notion, which comes usually from the media. Now, not everybody's using the media, but it's media. And then there's our social groups. But what they tell you to think your relationship should be, but we don't see that those things don't actually work. And there's a lot of ego involved and other things that cause a lot of pain and strife in relationships that we don't need. So while cutting the slack, you need to understand that you need to understand that honestly, that attraction that you have only exists in your own head. So that's why A lot of the times when you're feeling so attracted to somebody, it's not feeling reciprocal is because you have now created an atmosphere for yourself to feel how you feel, but you did not create the same atmosphere for the other person. So are you getting it, guys? I hope that you are. If you are, please hit me down in those comments. Um, But let's get let's let's go a little further. Generally, people, we definitely move from our own perspectives and our own general uh general wants and desires. So what that means is to actually get involved with somebody that you actually like, you actually need to take note on what they want and desire. It's about relating. So if you've seen anything uh, about, you know, how to communicate and stuff like that, or if you haven't, you can check out my video right here that will let you know how to communicate with anybody and how to grow your influence. But you want to understand objectively what it is that they are attracted to. And a lot of people have started to miss that. So that is what leads to the attitude from other people that they feel put off because, again, you have created attraction for yourself. Again, that's where that ego comes in and you have to set that aside and create attraction for the other person so that it can become mutual. Okay, and I a lot of people might say it's going to be one side or the other. It's everybody's job to create this certain atmosphere for their partner. It's not one person's or the others. It is your job to create that attraction for the other person so that that way they feel how you feel. And let's talk about why it is that the stuff that you are doing with people you don't like is working. So have you ever noticed that, like I said, you, you treat the person that you're attracted to very specially? But you're inconsiderate, like not inconsiderate, but you don't, you're nonchalant. 
you don't put as much weight into if you are going to go about your day talking to them or not. You don't uh, put any emotions behind how their actions are. You honestly receive what they're doing and discern it as a one-on-one character without putting your emotional ties to it. But once you're attracted, all of that goes out the door. You're putting how you feel about everything, how you, you know, think about it, your own morals and everything else. And that can be putting off to somebody you're attracted to because they come from a different upbringing, cultural background, all these kind of things. Time frame. You don't know anything unless you've asked the right questions. So you need to allow yourself to get to know that person correctly so that, that way, you know, your your targeted desire is being met. So if you find yourself extremely attracted and you're getting a little emotionally overwhelmed, I would love to tell you guys to practice stoicism, which is to really take your emotions out of it and live in the reality. But the best way I can really break it down to you is understand that person for the person that they are. Take yourself out of it. Take your own emotions and attraction out of it. Understand what they want and need and then take things from there. So if you guys have found any value in this episode and you've liked it, please hit the like button. Uh, If you have any questions, hit the comment button. And I hope that you guys have liked the episode. This has been your host, Juice. Peace.